Right, this is grade 3, module 5, lesson 10. And in this lesson, uh, students are going to be comparing unit fractions by using uh, number sense, by just using reasoning. They're not going to use some sort of standard algorithm. They're just going to use logic and common sense and number sense in order to compare those fractions. So we begin by... Uh, looking at these fraction strips, and, and the directions say for us to um, each fraction, I mean each number strip represents one whole, and then color one fractional unit, so a unit fraction for each strip. So this says shade in one half, so boom, there's one half. And then it says shade in one third, so there's one third and then a fifth, and then a fourth, and then a ninth. Now, parents and teachers, as we're doing this, we want students to be thinking about patterns here. Ooh, this is kind of tricky, isn't it? They kind of went out of order a little bit. One fourth and one fifth. I don't know if I like that. But anyway, pay attention to it. So what do we notice? What do we notice as the denominator gets bigger? So as the denominator gets bigger, the fractional piece is getting smaller. And parents and teachers, you can ask your kids, why is that? Why are the pieces getting smaller as the denominator gets bigger? Then using that experience, we're going to have our students circle greater than or less than for each of these uh, problems. I'm j we're just going to do a few. So one half versus one third. So is one half less than one third or is one half greater than one third? And the idea is we want students to recognize that one half is greater than one third. Uh, well, two ways. One is because they can look back at their fraction strips that they just shaded in, and they can see that the fraction strip for one-half is longer than the fraction strip for one-third. But another way they know that this is true is because the denominator is smaller, and that means this, oh, let's call it a candy bar, has been cut into two pieces, while this candy bar has been cut into three pieces, and since two pieces is uh, a smaller number than three pieces, that means each of these pieces are bigger than each one of these pieces. Now that's getting pretty fancy. At this point, teachers and parents, students are probably going to be relying on their fraction strips. But for some students, your high flyers, they might be ready to go straight to that logic where they can reason about the size of the of the fractional pieces based on the num the uh, denominator for example let's look at problem e so one fifth compared to one third well how does one fifth compare to one third is one fifth less than one third or one fifth greater than one third and we can see if that one-fifth is less than one-third. So some students might be figuring that out by looking at the fractions, at the tape diagrams that we just shaded in. Others are ready to be reasoning about the size of the fractions based on the denominators. Uh, teachers, it's up to you to let your students differentiate themselves as they move forward with this. For this problem, after his football game, Malik drinks one half of a liter of water and one third of a liter of juice. Did Malik drink more water or did he draw, uh, drink more juice? And then it says, draw and estimate to partition. So we are going to draw a fraction strip for one half and a fraction strip for one-third. So let's draw that tape diagram. We're going to make them identical as best we can. So there's my two identical tape diagrams. 
This first one, we have to cut it into halves, and then shade in one half. And then this one, we're going to shade into thirds, and shade in one of those pieces. And now you should be able to see that one half is bigger than one third. So Malik drank more water than he did juice. So he drank more water than juice. And this last one uh, is more of the same that of the previous slides that we've already been doing, only this time Parents, teachers, we're going to be using these uh, greater than and less than in the equal sign symbols. Uh, so, again, if students want to use reasoning to get these answers, that's fine. If other students want to uh, draw tape diagrams, they're welcome to do that as well. Um, I'll do one. Let's see. One-fourth compared to one-eighth. Well, there's a lot of pieces here and not a lot of pieces here. And since if there's a lot of pieces, those pieces are going to be small. And if there's a hardly any pieces, those are going to be big. So this is essentially one big piece compared to one small piece, which means the alligator is going to eat the bigger number. So I think of this as the alligator, and it's eating the one-fourth. Oh, let's go down to this one right here. So you've got one-twelfth versus one-tenth. Well, here you've got 12 pieces. Here you've got 10 pieces. Well, if you have a lot of pieces, cut, the candy bars cut into 12 pieces, they're going to be small compared to if the candy bar is cut into 10 pieces. So that means one-tenth is bigger than one-twelfth. So we're doing this using logic. And that wraps up Grade 3, Module 5, Lesson 10, where students are comparing fractions using number sense and logic.